Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Subtle Webcast. In this video, we will look at the steps on how to create a wildcard certificate using IIS Manager in Windows Server 2019 from Internal Certificate Authority. We can also use MMC Console to create wildcard certificate, but that we will see in a another video. It is sometimes necessary to issue a wildcard certificate from your Internal Certificate Authority. I had such a requirement in remote desktop services video series so i thought it would be a nice to make a one separate video on it in rds standard deployment we need ssh certificate for individual servers so instead of managing multiple different certificate for a different server it will be a very easy to manage only one certificate with wildcard Wildcard certificate will be also helpful in ADFS and web application proxy setup as well. For this demo, we will use the TS lab created in VirtualBox. This is a domain controller with the host name ws2k19-dc01. On this server, we have installed and configured Active Directory certificate services as well. This server is our internal enterprise root certificate authority. Let's move to our member server. This is a member server with the host name ws2k19-srv02. We want to generate wildcard certificate for this server. Already I have installed web server role on this server to save time. Without wasting time, let's get started. As I mentioned earlier that in this video we will use IIS manager to create a wildcard certificate. So for that we need to open IIS manager first. I am going to click on tools. And then I'm going to click on Internet Information Services Manager. You can also use shortcut command inet mgr to open IIS Manager. Once you open IIS Manager, maximize the console and click on your server name, which is ws2k19-srv02 in our case. Then you need to double click on Server Certificates. And if you have any existing certificate on your server, those certificate will be listed under Server Certificates. To create a wildcard certificate, we need to click on create domain certificate. That is going to start a new wizard for us. Fill in the information in common name. To create a wildcard certificate, we need to specify asterisk and then after I am going to specify our domain name. So our common name will be asterisk.mylbrot local in our case. After providing the common name, fill up the other details as well. Once you provide other details, click on next to continue. On this console, we need to specify certification authority from our local domain that is going to issue the certificate to our server. For that, we need to click on select. We have our own certification authority that is mylab-ws2k19-dc01-c which is available on our domain controller ws2k19-dc01. Let's select the certification authority and click on OK. Under friendly name, specify the friendly name for the certificate so you can easily identify the certificate. For this example, I am giving friendly name wildcard certificate. Once you select your certification authority and you provide friendly name, then click on finish. This will send a request to our local certification authority. After seeing the certificate request, our local certification authority will issue the certificate to our member server. And now we have our own wildcard certificate for our member server. Let's confirm that. For that, I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, under issue 2, you can verify that asterisk.mylab.local is there and this certificate is issued by our local certification authority. Now we can bind this certificate to our local website to test a wildcard certificate. For that, I am going to click on OK button first. Let's click on Sites. Under Sites, let's click on Default Website. Under Edit Site, we need to click on Bindings. Click on Add. From the drop down menu, let's select HTTPS. Under SSL Certificate, we need to click on this drop down menu and let's select the certificate which we have created earlier with the name wildcard certificate. This is the friendly name of our SSL certificate. If you want to see the property of that certificate, you can click on view button and from this console, you can verify the details about that certificate. Click on OK. 
and click on OK. As you can see, now we have a HTTPS enabled for our local test website. Click on Close to save this configuration. Now we have bind that wildcard certificate to our test website, but how we can test it that whether that wildcard certificate is working or not. For that, let's go to our domain controller to add alias record for our web server. Let's open DNS management console. Let's expand for a lookup zone and let's click on malware local. As you can see, this is the entry of our member server WS2K19FNSRV02 and that is pointing to the IP address 172.18.72.7. I'm going to create one alias record for that record. Select new alias. Specify alias name which will be a www in our case. So our app query will be www.mylab.local. Click on browse. Double click on server. Double click on forward lookup zone. And double click on mylab.local. Now let's select ws2k19-srv02 server. Click on OK. So this alias record is pointing to this FQDN. Click on OK. For the testing purpose, I am also going to create one more alias record. Let's give alias name web1. Let's click on browse and select SRV02 server. Click on OK. So now we have a two separate record for our web server. Now let's test whether we can access our web server using these three different names or not. Let's open Internet Explorer and let's specify the URL. First, we are going to access our test website using the original FQDN of our member server and that is https colon double slash ws2k19fnsrv02.mylib.local Let's press enter key. Perfect, we can see we are successfully able to access our test website using SSL. Let's click on this lock to verify the certificate. You can see the certificate is issued by our local certification authority. And here we can confirm that our wildcard certificate is there. Click on OK. Let's open a new tab. And now let's try to access our test website using the alias records which we have created in our DNS. So now I'm going to access this website using https colon double slash www.mylab.local. Let's press enter key. Perfect. We can also access our local test website using the alias name as well. Let's open another new tab. Let's specify the URL. https colon double slash web1.mylab.local. Let's press enter key. Perfect. We can also access our website using another alias name as well. Due to wildcard certificate, we can access our test website successfully with multiple different names. And that's the reason, in case if you want multiple host name for your website, in such case, you can create certificate with a wildcard. And that's it for this video demonstration on how to create a wildcard certificate using IaaS Manager in Windows Server 2019. In the next video, we will see the steps to create a wildcard certificate using MMC console in Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.